Welcome to the Recon Trader. In today's video, I will share with you some tactical analysis over on the Sol chart as Solana's price action has been setting lower lows and lower highs and is currently in danger of setting perhaps another lower low. So with that in mind, let's jump over to the charts. And so we will start over here on the daily candle chart for Sol USDT on the Binance Exchange. And so each one of these bars or candles represents a day of price action for Sol. And right now, what should really stand out to you before we drop in any drawings or indicators is the fact that Sol has been dropping in lower low after lower low and lower high after lower high after lower high. And so right now the price action for Seoul is bearish. However, I have seen some folks out there claiming that there is a bullish pattern setting up right here. If we drop in a drawing tool, folks are saying this looks like a inverted head and shoulders pattern with this being the neckline. And they think that is a bullish pattern. And then they are trying to draw out a target on the upside if this were to break bullish up here around $23, which the price would have to get through obviously this $22 level of resistance here. But that is how they're drawing out this pattern. Now, for me, especially back in the days when I traded Forex, this is simply a double top pattern. And that's a bearish pattern, not a bullish pattern. And so if the price were to actually break bearish out of a double top pattern, then you would be looking for the price to break down below the previous low back here. And so then your target would be towards the downside, pretty much the same parameters of the inverse head and shoulders from the neckline down. But in this case, you'd be looking for the price to break down and that would put the price down around $15 for Seoul. And again, a lot of times when these patterns set up and you are looking for them to be bullish, the previous price action really should be bullish. If this inverted head and shoulders was at the top of a move rather than at the bottom of this move, then perhaps you could look at it as bullish. However, with the fact of it being a double top down here at the bottom of a sell-off to me that basically screams that there was a failed attack to get above this 2050 level and the sell pressure came in and pushed the price back down and so this level of 2050 is to me a new level of resistance and if we add in the recon auto fib retracement indicator, we can take a look at a variety of different levels of resistance and support. And in fact, you can see the 786 or the 2050 is coming in as resistance. And so until the bulls can actually get the price above 2050, this price action is in control of the bears. And they are looking to obviously push the price back down here to around 1733. Now a break down below that 1733. And again, we would be looking at that target down here around $15 for the breakout of the pattern. Or even worst case scenario, we could be looking at the 1272 level of around 1330. That would be your next Fibonacci level of support if the bulls have any hope of stopping the bleeding. Now, on the flip side, if the bulls have any hope of getting the price higher, they first need to get through this 786 level, which is 2050. If we look back and check our six back here, we can see that was a pretty good level of support until obviously it wasn't and the price broke down and it is now flipped into resistance and Seoul's price has rejected now twice from the 786 level on the Fibonacci retracement, which is 2050. Now, if the bulls can breach above 2050 and push the price up, the next level I see as resistance will be 22. You can see right back here, that level was a strong level of resistance and that sell pressure at this level did result in the sell-off. So the bulls would need to charge right through this 22 level. Then they're looking up at the 618 level, which is pretty much at 23. 
after that then they can look up here at around the 50 percent level which would put the price at 24.73 i would say for the purposes of a psychological level they would need to get through 25 and that is where we see the rejections back up here and with that in mind what do you see here that is similar to this price action down here we get essentially a double top right up here or the inverted head and shoulders but as you see once the price broke down below the head it sold off and so that is why i would look at this pattern down here as bearish because it would be similar to this double top pattern up here and i would expect a breakdown probably to around 15 if it were to break bearish now if the bulls can win the battle here at the 50 percent or around the 25 dollar zone then they could have their sights set on anywhere between the 382 and the 236 level, which would put the price around 2650 up to around 2850. But as you can see, they have a whole lot of resistance to get through. They've got to get through the 2050, the 22, the 23 then the $25 level before they even begin thinking about attacking up here into the, say, $27 zone. Now, if you need any more confirmation that this price action for Seoul is bearish, we can drop in the Recon EMA ribbon, and you can see that the price came up into the ribbon and rejected at the ribbon and is currently being held down by the ribbon. And right now, the EMA ribbon has flipped ever since the price rejected back here and has been held down below the ribbon and thus the ribbon is bearish with your reds and yellows on top of your blues and greens and so until the price for Seoul gets back above the ribbon and in fact we'd look for the price to get above actually not just the ribbon but probably the 2050 level that's really the key level for the bulls and on the flip side the bear's key level to break through is going to be 1733. So I think that's enough jaw jacking for this video. If anything major happens over here on the charts, I will do an updated video. So now would be a good time to shoot that subscribe button. If you like this video, do me a favor, spike a like. If you have any questions or comments, drop them in the comment section down below. And until next time, remember, never send your money into battle without first doing your recon. See you in the next video.